What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels expansion, and we're in the, uh, we're actually currently, we're in the Rip Rod, and, ooh, I found an XP board. Nice. So, we're gonna, we've been exploring around a little bit, we did some races, um, what I really want to do is I want to unlock A-Class, because once we unlock A-Class, we'll be up into some much more, uh, much more fun, much, much faster races, uh, but I really want to go and explore some stuff around this, around this area too, because there's so much stuff here. Is this a bucket list? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The bucket list Mustang. Let's get this done. This should be really fun. This should be really, really fun. Lose your bearings on the Cobra Coil in the Hot Wheels Mustang. Okay. Beat the speed target. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Left, please. While turning off the music, please. Okay, nope, not working. Got the music off. Now I'm gonna restart. Does the okay? I pulled a Mustang. <laughs> does the music restart when you restart the race, though? I'm curious about that. I just need to turn it off faster if it does. Hmm. Nope. Okay, it's off. Perfect. All right. Let's ease it out and then go, 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 go. What? We're supposed to drive under that. Man, it spun a little bit into the third. Damn. Come on, Mustang. Come on. This is like the craziest three-valve Mustang I've ever seen. That was, like, that was closer than ever. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention to the line. This is not going to be as good as, yeah, I was hoping it would be better, but, well, we, you know what, I'm going to try it again if we don't get, uh, if we don't get gold, which I don't think this run is going to be good for gold. Just kind of letting off, getting back on the throttle a little bit. That was 135, 136. Alright, let's see, how was that? I mean... Mm. Oh no, it was just successful. I forgot because bucket list challenges, they're like, you know, no big deal. And they're usually a lot easier than a lot of the other stuff. Okay, perfect. So, did that unlock A-Class? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. I'm hoping it did, though. Or at least I'm hoping it got us really close. That booster right there in the middle looks crazy. Like, right in the middle of the screen. Oh my god. Like, that's ridiculous. Time to take it up to A class. Oh, yep. Bigger tracks, more loops, more G's. Which Hell yes. Your hair, boss. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real fun. Now, okay, we got another bucket list challenge. What's that? Woo, we got a drift zone. Okay, perfect. The sidewinder drift zone. Let's go. Let's well, you know what? Here. I might want a different car for the drift zone. Uh, let's see. My cars. Oh, that's actually, that's, I'm curious. How is drifting going to feel uh, on the Hot Wheels tracks? You know what? I'm going to grab something that I know is really good at getting slideways. <laughs> and um, we'll see what it feels like. Uh, we'll see what it feels like to drift these tracks. Like, and actually go out and, you know, not just slide them a little bit, but actually properly go out and drift them. Because when I go to drift zones, I want to just dominate the score. Alright, Liberty Walk M4. Time to go after some drift zones. Let's set a route to that. And first thing we gotta do is turn around, but we're gonna be able to get some practice in on the way there, so... Honestly, you know what this track feels like? It feels like really, really smooth pavement. Which means it's actually, it's, oh, it's so easy to drift on it. It's super easy to drift on it because it's so smooth. Like, dude, it's actually really fun because of how smooth it is. This car recovers from angles so well. So much better than that Mustang. Oh my god. Oh yeah, little wall tap. Not bad. I wonder if they expect you to come into this with more speed, but... 
the banking angles are really cool. Like, normally you don't get to drift, uh, normally you don't get to run any drift zones with this kind of banking angle. That was kind of sloppy, but, oh, it counted as a drift tap, though. 64,600. Okay, so, I feel like we can do better. Uh, no, three? Okay, not bad. Let's see how long we can keep this drift combo going. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, you earned a new car, though. What did I earn? Car has been added to your garage. Okay, so they just add it. They just add it, and you can go pick it up. Okay, so sweet. Let's go pick it up. Mm, where's my garage at? That's the other thing that I'm not sure of. Where is my... Oh, okay, there it is. At the main auto show. So let's go ahead and grab... Well, you know what? I just realized we could have done that without going back, but it's okay. We've already, we've already fast-traveled back now, so... No big deal, and I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> All right, so I'm expecting it to be maybe, I don't know, maybe the Bone Shaker. Because I feel like the Bone Shaker is probably going to be your A-Class car, because I think that car is A-Class. I think. Let's see. Oh, Barn Finds. See, that's the other thing. Uh Oh, the 356A Speedster ready to collect. We'll collect that later. Um, My cars. And scroll up. You know what? Filter. Uh, let's see. Hypercars, classics, hot hatches. Jeez. All right, well, I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to scroll over to H for Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels Rip Rod, Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Okay, cool. So let's grab the Bone Shaker, let's head out, get some A-Class events done, and then we'll see how close we can get to unlocking the S1 events. Because we're moving, we're moving along pretty good here. Pretty well, I should say. You, uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> I, oh god, I hope no English teachers watch my videos. <laughs> uh, if you had exploded, it only does the doors. Okay, back, and I want to go into the garage real quick and see if there's anything. Ah, dang it. Are you serious? There's a body kit preset for this? Oh, so this is stock. This is like full Hot Wheels spec. Let's do, oh dear, we have to keep it in A class though, so let's go custom upgrade, and we'll build it up a little. We won't really be able to build it up much, it looks like, but we will be able to build it up a little bit. We can do, oh, that even, that puts in an S1? Damn. What about, what about a set of wheels? Oh god, this is going to be hilarious. Those, okay, so even the lightest wheels don't put it into um, into S1. So that's actually a good thing be because I'm kind of thinking about what kind of wheels I might want to put on it. I'm going to go look at some HREs for this. Or not even HREs, ADV1s. Oh, man, that, that sets off. Those set off the look of the car so nicely. I know there's going to be some people in the comments that are going to freak out and be like, you have no right to customize that. You can't do that. Those actually complement the car pretty well, though, so I'm going to go ahead and run with those. Where's A-Class a 799, stick a set of wheels on it, go out and run it, no big deal. But yeah, there's still going to be some purists out there that are going to be like, like I said, they're going to be like, Oh my god, what, 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 what are you doing? You're not allowed to do that. That's, that, that's, that's illegal. No, it's not. No, I have, I have full permission from the game. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what is, what is next? Oh, okay. Bucket list number one okay well i'll tell you what i don't know i don't know what that is but i'm gonna turn around and grab it real quick because i guess the bucket list that we did wasn't bucket list number one damn this thing drifts holy hell this thing drifts super well look at that oh yeah damn bro this thing slides this thing hella slides it's a mini why is there a bucket list for a mini here Conquer the Hyperloop in the 2012 Mini Cooper. I'll tell you what, probably won't be that hard, considering the fact that you only, I think in real life, to make a loop, you only have to be going at something like 80 miles an hour, I think. And go, 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 go! It's so weird driving something front-wheel drive now. I never drive front-wheel drive. It's so weird. Using that edge to try and hook the corner. I don't know if it helps. Yards. Turn right. I don't know if it helps or not, but it's regardless, it's fun to do. Come on, little mini. Turn right. 
You know, a little dab of brakes. This thing is set up really well. It rotates the back end even when you're on the power at the front. And a fifth. Really? That was bad. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this, Minnie. You got this. There she goes. Oh, yes. Got it tops out at like 160. That, 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 that's, that's not like, that's not ideal for this setup, but no big deal. We're just going to bang the rev limiter constantly. Oh, yeah. Got the destination successfully. So that's out of the way. No big deal there. So up next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Bone Shaker to get one of the A-Class events out of the way uh, before we finish off this episode and head on into the next episode because I'm trying to get as many of the later races unlocked as quickly as possible. So not only can we do that, but we can go and explore the whole in-game world and then we can also do little challenges. Oh god, it's raining. Oh jeez. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be fun. Let's do a, ooh, Thrill City Turbo Sprint. That'll be a nice one to finish this episode off with. Be a nice one for the Bone Shaker as well. And I will say, I think that the the, the most fun part of, the, of, like, this whole update is just the, like, just being able to, just to play around with Hot Wheels cars in the Forza environment. Like, I, 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 how do you... It, how you can't, you can't, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find words, you can't do that anywhere else. Like, you literally can't do that anywhere else, and that's what makes this so freaking special. Hopefully the event itself isn't in the wet, because it's going to be all slithery if, it's, if the event's in the wet. Nope. Oh, yeah. We got dry track for this. Caterham is here. Like, E36 M3 as well? Alright, uh... Expert to pro Not right now. Uh, objectives. Let's see. Finish the race, win the race. 15 drift or e-drift skills. That will be easy as hell in this car. Go, go, go! Come on! Oh, we'll wait for the thing to stop spinning. Oh, that was close. There's our first drift skill. Not bad. Oh, jeez. Come on. <laughs> We're racking these up. Oh, God. Excuse me, people. God dang, they slowed down a lot. Okay. Get off the wall. Damn. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That should have counted. Not the one where I hit the wall, but the one after that. We're only 20% in. We already got 8 out of 15. Oh, yeah. This is going to be easy to finish. Whoa. Hey. Stop pushing the back end of my car. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. That's a worthy rewind moment. I'm still getting used to the, like, the feeling of driving on these tracks. Uh, because you gotta hit things at the right angles. If you don't, if you don't use the right angles here, uh, then you're gonna run into some trouble. There we go. That was a little mini drift. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Only three more drifts to do. And that's the top three right there, so we pretty much got this in the bag, I think. One more. And there it is. All right, sweet. Now we can focus on racing. Excuse me. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. That's no good. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. That is the worst. Oh, my God. That is the worst. That is literally the freaking worst. Should we try and... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try and catch back up. I don't know if it's possible or not, but I'm going to try and catch back up. I have never had to catch back up from this far back. I mean, it's it's never reset me that far back before. Holy hell. Now we're really going to have to drive the pants off this car. Come 
Caught our first... Ooh, caught our first victim. Oh, jeez. That sends you going crazy. Well, we haven't quite caught our first victim yet, but we've definitely caught up to him. At least in terms of the map. Oh, my God. This sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're so far ahead now. God, that mistake was punishing. That mistake was absolutely punishing. Okay, we gotta restart. Damn. You know what my mistake was, aside from going off the track? Not rewinding sooner. Because if I had rewi I've, if I had used rewind sooner, it would have properly re it like would have properly just pulled me back onto the track and everything would have been good and we just carried on. Oh man, note to self, if you ever fall off the track, freaking use the rewind. It's there for a reason. Damn. There's our first drift. We can get those drifts out of the way real quick. You could actually trail break, like, trail break this car into some oversteer, so it doesn't, like, it doesn't, you don't even need to try to rack up the drifts in this car. Just gotta keep my, oh, jeez. Keep your wits about you. Get the back end around. Transition it. Well, not really transition the drift, but transition the corner at least. God, these guys over break. They really do. I guess that's the biggest thing that you would see as a difference when you up the difficulty. There's nine. Okay, yeah, dude. We're, we're not even... We don't even have anything to worry about now. Go... Oh, that's 12 out of 15. What? We're literally already back to, already back to where we were before. That's brilliant. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's a wall. Come on. Don't let that be a thing. 14. I'm still floored on the throttle. Oh, here we can we can definitely pull one off. No, oh, maybe not. Tried to... That one, it just dove in. There we go. Challenge completed. Okay, perfect. Now all we gotta do is win and not fall off the track. Dab of brakes. Feed it into the corner. God, these tracks are all about momentum. They, they are so much about momentum, but the thing is, if you get the momentum right, they flow so well. So, so, so well. I think that's got to be, like, the best thing about this whole expansion is that, like, when you're driving these tracks and you hit them with the right rhythm, it's, it's just amazing. Oh, my God. Hit some interior view, though. Let's go back to third person. I think this car works better in third person. Why is it telling me to brake there? There's like no need. Dude, you can just head right through. Uh-oh. That's a split track. Oh, crap. Oh, that's the crash. Yeah, that's the like the crash track thing. Damn it. Messed up big time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Glad I wasn't there to get caught up in any chaos that would have gone down, though. Damn, this thing sits on rev limiter when it hits boosters. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. Almost 90, 90% 90 complete. Nearly there. This this looks like the much faster route, so I'm going to take it. Oh, hit the tire, hit the tire. Come on. Oh, yes. Not bad at all, except for that first attempt like that. That was, the, there was some craziness going on there. But if you guys did enjoy this episode of the Hot Wheels Expansion Pack, where we we actually, uh, we tried drifting out for the first time. We're going to do some more drifting uh, episodes here, where we actually really focus on the drifting throughout the episode. Um, but we're also going to do some exploring later on. And um, we're going to try and get up to S1 class as soon as possible. So... Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you are subscribed uh, so you can come back next time. Also, make sure to turn notifications on so you guys know exactly when the, the next video is going to be posted up. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.